be gentle with the babies gently water lightly water <laughs> I know I know Hey y'all, it's your girl Kiki Soto here, Urban Girl Gardening, and I just want to give you guys a after the freeze update. And I originally wasn't going to, but why not? I like y'all. So I'm just going to show you guys what's going on, and I'm actually, I'm going to show you guys the um, orange tree first, okay? So here's Mr. Orange. That's Mr. Spaulding. Held him down for quite a while. And, um... Yeah, I, I don't know what this little spot is right here, but we lost one leaf, and for the most part, it looks okay. Um, now, this lime tree, I don't know what's going on with this thing here, but we'll see. It's really early in the season. We'll see. Look at this man. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring y'all in here in the garden real quick, and I'm just going to tell y'all, everything is good. Like everything is a okay all the brassicas are good um and flourishing lots of new leaves um everything in here is good all my seedlings most of these are lettuces and herbs they did really good and as you can see i got some empty spaces here now because i put a lot of things just all around the garden because they're cold hardy they don't need to be in that bed taking up room these are all the radishes different kinds doing good um, there's some more y'all yeah, know garlic is impenetrable so we ain't even gonna worry about that and then let's see I got my beans out they're chilling they're going in the green stalk tomorrow so they're just gonna hang out out here um, the time these are my rescue plants y'all I rescued these from Hannaford I don't know if y'all know what Hannaford is some of you may some of you may not but when I tell y'all them plants out there were struggling I had to go get them. I had to go get the herbs, y'all. So, these are beets. And as you can see, they're coming up. These are from the tree. Whatever. But the beets are coming up. Golden beets. Um, these are carrots. More carrots. This, y'all, I had reused some, um, some soil. And I planted the carrots. This is what y'all see here. But some radish seeds must have been in the soil. So two for one whatever um, I also have some beets in here that are coming up you can see that so that's cool and more radishes more radishes the kohlrabi survived Brussels looking good cabbages looking good these are the um this I was worried about these I didn't think that they would grow you can see these are the green onions that I'm regrowing and I thought because they got the freeze that they wouldn't regrow but y'all they didn't push up right up out the um soil and they doing their thing and i'm actually gonna give me some more green onions and replant them because i just i love harvesting from them and it's it's real easy and we got some new herbs i believe these are herbs maybe i don't know k-o-b oh these are carnations these are the king of blacks carnations and then here these are the Jean Denoens carnations. So that's good. I'm glad that they still um, germinated out here. Let's see anything else. Oh, wait. What's this? This is the Red Bachelor Buttons, RBB. Yep, let me see. Okay, I'm on it. I'm remembering. I'm remembering. And then here I have Dark Opal Spice Basil. That's doing good. So I'm not going, you know to show y'all every little thing but yeah there's a lot going on and a lot doing well out here and a lot of this stuff is going to be separated out because i'm planting out my green stalks i have four of them so these lettuces let's see you got tatsoi mabuna the swiss charge um the marvel of four seasons red russian kale all these guys are doing really really good this is fenugreek it's doing amazing this is going to go into my um my green stalk that's designated for my teas and look at this red romaine everything's doing good the marigolds are doing good let's see what else we got and this this is all the the borage 
Look at that. Yeah, so everything is doing great. Look at my leaks, even the leaks. Frost protection is important, y'all. Some of the stuff I ain't even seen. I ain't even know Germany because I just been out here, but you can see the sage growing in here. Got some more oregano. Even some rosemary. Everything survived. And I'm very happy about it. So when everything is done in here and everything is divided and put into their homes, their permanent spaces, this bed is going to be used. I'm going to throw in some um, zucchini in here. There'll be some herbs, um, probably some flowers in the corners. And um, I might put an okra tree or two in here. We'll see because I also want to put okra in the front garden and I don't want to be overwhelmed with plants. I'll probably just do like two or three plants. But yeah, I'm going to need this bed soon. So all of this is going to get divided up in, like I said, the green stalks, um, pots, grow bags, everything's going to go where it's supposed to go. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Um, thank you so much for all your concern and well wishes. We send everybody well wishes when the gardens are getting ready to go through a freeze because we put a lot of work. The ghetto. We put a lot of work and a lot of effort into what we do into growing our veggies and we give them love and we want to take care of them we want them to be okay so i am getting ready guys to go to my live on urban girl gardening and i hope some of you will join me for our sip and sew we're going to be sowing some seeds and sipping some wine hope you guys can make it over if not i love y'all anyway and i will see y'all right here and i know a lot of people have been asking why aren't you going live on on uh youtube well, it's not that I don't want to or that I can't. It's that I really want to make my first live on YouTube a big celebration. And so I'm going to be celebrating um, my 1,000 subscriber count on YouTube, on a live. That will be my first YouTube live. And I want to make it big, y'all. I want to make it fun. So follow me on all social media, at Urban Girl Gardening. That's the handle on everything. And yeah, learn with me, grow with me. Thank you for being here. Boop.